Welcome back to the channel everyone and here we are looking again at the Absolute. So the Kickstarter closed almost a week ago. We're just waiting on some updates on when shipping is going to take place. But it's good to see that there is still work happening in the background. So I've just fired up my Absolute because I'm setting up a new PC and I wanted to connect Moonlight to it. And I thought I'll nip into settings. I do this periodically, nip into settings and I'd like to have a look and see if, um, if there's any updates. And what do you know? Got an update as of today with quite a... A lot of updates. If you wish, you can hit pause at this point and read through these. Now, it's only a small update, but it's good to see that, you know, it's not actually a live product yet, but they're rolling out updates all the time. So we'll just, uh, we'll download this now and we'll apply it, see what gets on. So I will aim to be streaming again this Friday and I'll be connecting to a new machine. So I've got a, a new minis forum, mini PC that we're going to be connecting to and it's, it's wired to my router so it's going to be a much better connection. And um, it's a higher spec machine so we should be running 1080p, absolutely maxed out settings in pretty much every game. So that'll be interesting to see. So if you're in the Discord, please come and join on Friday. If you're not in the Discord, or you're watching this video later on, there should be a video uploaded in the Discord streams folder uh, playlist. So feel free to have a look in there. Again, if you like what I do on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. And we are charged up to 100%, so I don't have to worry about plugging this in. So keep your eyes peeled for my upcoming video which is going to be setting up over the Minis Forum PC and how I'm going to connect it between the Absolute and my use case as well. Because that use case might actually suit you as well. And you could have a desktop gaming experience on a handheld that's more powerful than the new Asus ROG Ally Z1 Extreme. Or any of the current contenders really for slightly more than it would cost to buy an ROG Ally. But you get a lot more for your money. So stay tuned to the channel for that video. So I'm thinking about doing some more in-depth emulation testing. So obviously we know what the device itself can manage. It can manage up to PSP. Um, but only some titles at PSP level. And I'm thinking about using my mini PC and emulating all the way up to Switch. May not actually do Switch, but all the way up to Wii U at least. So uh, leave a comment in the comment section if you want to see that. Well, I don't know what happened to my audio there, but I'm having to re-record it separately. So it takes quite a while at the um, starting up screen, unfortunately. As you can see here, it sits at this Android screen for quite a few minutes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward at this point. So I've had to cut a couple of minutes out there, but as you can see, we're now getting the absolute login screen, or loading screen, I should say. And in a minute or so, it will load up to the interface screen. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here, just so you can see how lovely and bright and vibrant this screen actually is, just at the absolute logo. It's difficult to show, but it really does pop. And this is the update just completed, so... Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next video on Friday.